hello everyone in my first video I'm going to show you how to download and open PLC source and then after I will introduce you to the open PLC editor first of all let's head over to the Google Chrome next you will type open PLC editor and press enter a new page will show on your screen and click on the first link given after clicking on the first page the next page will show up as the open PLC editor is a IC 611313-3 compliant PLC editor totally free and open source you can use it to upload PLC code directly to any board or system running open PLC time now depending on your operating system you may click on the link now as I have Windows I will click on the Windows link and a new page will show on your screen thank you for your interest in open PLC please consider helping it develop even further by making a donation below as you can see you can contribute and download for me I will just download now the downloading has started below as you can see now for me I have already downloaded and installed it in my PC you may close off the Google now you could pause here for a moment and install the open PLC editor in your operating system after that you will go to the open PLC editor now I have opened the open PLC editor here first of all you will go to file which is on the left top corner then you will select new and you will select a new folder and you will name the new folder as you choose for me I will uh, name it as letter diagram first and select the folder now a little box will pop up on your screen for POU name I will write it as PROG first which is program first and as for language I will edit as like a diagram LD for short now I will enter OK and now you can create letter diagram here on the left side is your project information and on the right side here as you can see library these are function blocks which I'm going to talk about later on the videos and as you can see on the top you have PLC simulation and you can upload here program to the Arduino board and and these are the symbols or the functions which will be using on making the letter diagram now I will select a rung and I will make a power rail now the pin number I will select it as one now a one pin power rail is created now you have to create power rail on the both sides another way to create or add a function is double clicking or right clicking on the mouse and you will add a power rail here and you will show that the type of the power rail is right and after that you can create power rail on both sides now first of all I will align them okay now I will create a contact here now a contact is 
and input. There are four types of contact as you can see normal, negative, rising edge and falling edge. For now I will take normal and as you can see there are no variables here for contacts. Now first of all I will have to make a variable. How do we do that? You will click on here on the plus sign as you can see add variable and it's written on there now I will enter or click on the plus sign and toggle switch on the name of the variable and the class of the variable will be local but the type of the variable will be bool which means boolean as the contact will go to true or false only now I will name the toggle switch as and I will adjust the size after adjusting I will join them on the left side join these pins after that I will create a contact on the right side now a point here is that the contact and the coil the contact is always on the left side and the coil is always on the right side now I will create another variable and I will name it as coil and the type of the coil will be boolean also. Now I will right click on the mouse and add a coil. Now as you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 types of coil and for now I will take the normal coil and I will press OK. After that, I will adjust the block size and then after I will join these pins. Now, now we have created a ladder diagram and I will start the simulation. If you see here on the left side, you can see that these two variables are stored here also and below it is showing the scan time now the simulation is completed and I will click on the debug on these glasses and on the right side you can see the debugger now if I click on these classes and these classes, you can see that the coil is false and the toggle switch is false. As you can also see, you made the little diagram here. The toggle switch is false and the coil is also false. And if I modify the toggle switch to true, oppose it to true, as you can see toggle switch is true and the coil is also true. If I modify the toggle switch again to false, the coil will be false and the toggle switch will be false. Now I'll stop this simulation and I will create a second variable coil zero okay let me rename the first as coil one and if you want to delete a variable just click on the minus sign by this sign you can remove the variable now as this is coil first I will just around plus sign as you can see the first one is coil first and the second one is coil second by the plus sign you can add a lot of coils if you want and if you want to delete them just click on the remove sign for now I will take an another coil and I will say that 
this coil is also normal and as you can see you could just connect this coil to the same pin or there is another way you could just increase the pin number of the rail here I'll click OK as you can see now there are three pins of the power rail now I will try to connect these pins and I will connect the left pin to the toggle switch and I will start the simulation again Now the simulation is completed and I will click on the glasses to debug it and I will click on the coil first and coil second. As you can see the coil first is false and the coil second is false. Let me drag this down and drag this to a little up now. After this, I will force the toggle switch or modify it to 1 or true. As you can see, when I modify the toggle switch to true, both of the coils, coil first and coil second, will go to true as they are in parallel. Makes sense, right? Now, if I modify the toggle switch to false, both of them will go to false simultaneously. Now, A point here I want to say is that as you can see I created two variables coil 1 and coil 2 and I added them in parallel you cannot create two coils and give them the same address or name them as coil first and coil first you have to create different addresses as for here the address is like the name you cannot name them same you have to name them differently if you add a variable you have to name it differently for the coil as it's not possible to have two coils with the same address now let me delete the connections here and delete this one also and I will try The coil is in series now as you can see I connected the coil is in series in one rail now there's a problem with this thing you cannot connect two coils in series this if I compile this in PLC as in like Alan Bradley or, or uh, Schneider or uh, Siemens this will show an error it will not compile or it will not run I will delete the coil and after this I will connect these pins together and likewise you can add four five coils in parallel if you want now let me show you how you could just copy first coil and paste them here paste and paste now I now added the four coils here I will join them to the pins now I will increase the number of pins here I will increase the number up to five after that I will join these pins and now after that I will join the left pin to the toggle switch and 
there you go and as you can see they are all addressed the same all coils are addressed as coil first now I will double click on the coil and I will name this as coil 2 double click on the coil 3 and name it as coil 3 and draw ok and I will double click on the coil 4 name it as coil 4 and enter ok now I will start the simulation let me drag this a little bit up and sorry okay let me now as you can see the simulation has completed now I will click on the glasses and let me clear these here and I will click on the coil first second and third and fourth as you can see all of them are false as the toggle switch is false if I force the toggle switch to true as you can see all of them goes to true and if I modify it to false all of them will go to false now I will tell you a point here let's suppose you have created a project here which I if you recall named as project first BROZ first now if you want to so create a new project there are changes do you want to save yes okay now if you click on the ladder diagram first and select this as the folder for new project a little error will pop up as you can see choosing folder isn't empty you can't use it for a new project just click on ok and go to file enter a new project and select new folder and I will say name it as LD2 which is ladder diagram second and I will select this folder again a little box will pop up and I will say this is program second and language as letter diagram and I will click OK now what does this mean this means that for every project you will create a new folder and save the project in new folder if you want to save the previous fold you had to just click the control s and it will have saved in the same folder which means ld first now this ends our first video